Just moments before her regional soccer game, Megana's best friend texted her for good luck. The text said, you will rock. Getting that text was like getting a hug. Some people think that's a good thing, but you can end up hiding from each other even as we're all constantly connected to each other. And that's how I find out about certain things or like what my friends are doing on Snapchat. They put it on their stories and I'm like, oh, well, that sounds fun. Like, you know, it's just something, just, it's, it, you just stay connected. Mark Potenza, a psychiatrist at Yale and the director of the school's program for research on impulsivity and impulse control disorders, has been treating addiction for more than two decades. In recent years, Potenza has been increasingly treating a new kind of problem, people who come to him because they can't get off the internet. Tech addiction. Our little devices, those little devices in our pockets, are so psychologically powerful that they don't only change what we do, they change who we are. It's weird. I feel like I don't even enjoy the moments right now. I just want it for the picture. And that happens all the time with everything. As far back as 1997, before the days of ubiquitous smartphones and laptops, when dial up and AOL dominated the landscape, Psychologists were already testing the addictive potential of the World Wide Web. Can you be addicted to a longing of virtual connectivity in the same way that you can be addicted to a longing for a drink? Usually when I don't get a notification on my phone, I get anxious like, is my phone working or is it broken? What happened? So I'll go check either almost every social media out there to see if everything's good because it's weird not getting anything within a few hours. In 2008, the American Journal of Psychiatry published an editorial strongly suggesting that internet addiction be included in the next version of the so-called Bible of Psychiatry, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, also known as DSM. Both behavioral and substance addictions are characterized by an inability to control how often or how intensely you engage in an activity, even when you feel the negative consequences. I look at the books that I have to study, like, I look at them for like five minutes and then I'll take like a 20 minute break on my phone to like recheck everything. Internet addiction ultimately did not make the list of officially recognized behavioral addictions in DSM. Internet use remains so disputed because it's changing too rapidly for researchers to keep up. And though the immediate effects are fairly visible, there's no telling what the condition will look like over the long term.